Hello everyone, Ragnella here with another Monster Hunter Freedom Unite video. We are continuing on with the Monster Showcase with, uh, weirdly enough, we're going to be doing a subspecies today. Now, I wanted to do the showcases so I could avoid subspecies, but this one is a rare subspecies. Specifically, a rare subspecies of the Rathalos called the Silver Rathalos. And aside from it being a rare subspecies, the only other reason why I would be doing this quest is for the location that you fight this Rathalos in. It is going to be up in the top of the Ancient Tower, and even though you can fight the Silver Rathalos in multiple locations in this game, when I think about the Silver Rathalos, as well as its female counterpart, the Gold Rathian, I'm thinking the top of an Ancient Tower. And so, this is the this is what the fight is going to look like here. So there's a, there's a few differences between a normal red Rathalos as well as the Azure and the silver Rathalos. Starting with size, the silver Rathalos is quite a bit bigger than both the red and blue variations and it also likes to go into the air a lot more. So flash bombs will be your best friend. So bring flash bombs, bring stuff to make flash bombs and make sure you have book of combos with you. That way your odds of creating said flash bombs go up through the roof. Now the uh, next difference is that the weaknesses are uh, a little, little bit weird with the uh, with the Silver Rathalos. Uh, starting with uh, elemental weaknesses, I believe with the uh, normal Rathalos, it uh, it's primarily weak to dragon. But uh, in this case, the Silver Rathalos is weak to both water and electric attacks. So if you have either of those elements, then they might serve you pretty well. But, uh, and that gets me to kind of the elephant in the room, the uh, the weapon that I'm using, because it does not have an element. And so this is what I call my bug katana. It is an incredibly sharp longsword. And I'm using this primarily for the next thing that makes the Silver Rathalo so different, is that uh, its head, is, for slashing weapons anyway, is not the weak point. In fact, the head is the last place that you want to hit a Silver Rathalos with when you're using anything with a sharp edge. In, in this case, the Silver Rathalos' weakness for bladed weapons is the wings. If you're using a blunt weapon, so a hammer, uh, a hunting horn, that's when you want to aim for the head. Because this monster is very susceptible to impact damage on the head. And so, uh, with all that said... Now, um, I want to go into the sort of the armor details and as a matter of fact, just kind of uh, getting a little into the uh, meta uh, in terms of recording. This is like the fourth time I'm hopefully going to get through this recording if, because the, the other times have just been, they've been awful. So I have said, said this information multiple times already and at this point I just remember it all. So with Silver Rathalos armor, with uh, high rank specifically, you're going to be looking at resistances uh, primarily for fire and dragon. So starting with the fire resistance, you're going to be looking at 10 points for that resistance. For water and electric attacks, that's where your weakness is going to be. So you're going to uh, that those are both a negative five weakness. So you want to look out for attacks like those. As for ice, you're going to be looking at a zero resistance, so it's pretty neutral, and your dragon resistance is going to be five. So that if you're facing off against a monster that somehow has a dragon element attack, then uh, Silver Rathalos armor might be the route to go. But uh, as for skills with the high rank normal Silver Rathalos armor, you're going to be looking at ESP and attack up small. And so what ESP does, and a fun fact here, I initially thought that had something to do with auto tracker. I, I don't know what's wrong with me. But uh, ESP increases your fencing skill. So if you are up against a monster where your weapon is constantly bouncing off and ruining your combos, uh, ESP will prevent that. So yeah, that's, uh, that's something nice to have. And uh, then you have your attack up small, which is just, well, a slight boost to your attack. As for the... A G rank version, you are going to be looking at, of course, higher defense, 
the same resistances, but slightly different skills. So you're going to get the ESP skill again, and you'll get attack up medium, but the downside is that you're going to be looking at negative 20 for your defense, which can be a pretty nasty hit. And so if you can, you want to gem those negative skills out whenever possible. And so going uh, going back to uh, this big guy right here, uh, I'm just uh, I'm primarily just throwing flash bombs whenever he goes up into the air. So it's going to be nice. And there's going to be a slight surprise at the very end of this video. And no matter how many times I see it, it just it makes me smile because it just it is so unexpected. And I won't spoil it just yet because it, trust me, it'll, it'll be worth it. Um, but uh, for this uh, for this quest, aside from those major points, this is largely going to be the same as a normal Rathalos. So this is like a Rathalos with weaknesses that have just been flipped around and turned upside its head. So it's uh, it's pretty nuts. And because it likes to go into the air, uh, there's a couple of attacks to watch out for. And I went over this with the normal Rathalos, starting with the fireball attacks. And the other thing that I can do is a claw attack, which if you're hit by that, you are going to be poisoned. So another item that might be nice to have are some antidotes or herbal medicines. So that, uh, yeah, just something to, to, uh, to consider. And of course, I, I can't um, uh, I can't stress this enough. Flash bombs are just a godsend for this quest because uh, uh, status effects prior to generation three have the same duration. So uh, every time I throw a flash bomb, it's it's gonna hit them for the same amount of duration as uh, the first time. It's very nice. But uh, there is the claw attack, and unfortunately, I was a dummy and I did not bring anything to cure. Uh, said poisoning because well, I never thought I would be hit by Rathalos's claw attack. It's just dumb and uh, We should be getting over to the end of this quest here very shortly He's gonna go up and I think uh, Jasmine's gonna come back into the fight here any second When I first saw this I I was sitting and I I just burst in, into laughter It was it was amazing. So Jasmine's gonna go up Smack him across the face and there we go. No more silver Rathalos. There he goes. Bye. Bye Yeah, he's he's a dead one and Just a hammer to the face nice impact and uh, Ironically with a dragon element attack So he was resistant to it and it still killed him But anyways, that's gonna do it for me and this video Thank you guys so much for watching if you're interested in any of my other content Be sure to hit on one of those annotations. I'll be featured at the end of this video or if you want to support the channel, subscribing is a great help. But until next time, take care, people. Hey.